Hello, this is Stephanie. I'm going to let you all get some time to get on. This video is being recorded and it will be um, uploaded to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to... Hello, this is Stephanie. I'm about to show you all how to add the characters to your fonts. Let you all get on here. Hello, this is Stephanie. I'm going to show you how to add the characters to your fonts, your words. Did you all see that post I posted and ask you if you was interested to learn how? Hey, y'all, come on in. I'm just going to show you how to add characters to your fonts, your names. Did you all see the post that I made to ask you, were you all interested in learning how to do this? Just the other day, I showed you how to download fonts to your Windows computer. Once I downloaded the font, I went on and typed it out for you all. So I already showed you how to do that. If you um, need the video on how to do that, how to download fonts from thefont.com onto your iOS device or your um, Windows computer, just leave a comment and I'll um, send you that video after this live. Who's all here to learn how to add the characters to the fonts? That's what we're about to show you. Who's all here to learn that? It's a lot of new people here, and I know a lot of people don't know how to do it. As the numbers are going up, I'm, I already showed you all how to add a font from thefont.com to design space on Windows computers. I did that the other day. Yes, I'll send you the video. If you're interested in learning how to do that, just write, I want to know how to download fonts on iOS, or I want to learn how to do download fonts or on Windows, I'll send you the video. Just leave a comment. But today, I did that the other day, but today I'm going to show you how to add characters to those fonts that you downloaded from iOS or on your Windows. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to leave this on here. As you see, it is a whole name. You can put it on, you know, mug, whatever you want to put it on. And this font here is Hello Honey. This is one of the very fonts we started a while ago. If you've all seen that post, uh, we put them on bottles and everybody loved it. They love it on their bottles. Uh, Mariah, I'm sure y'all remember Mariah. She's not here right now. She'll be here shortly. But Mariah, was she... Uh, did a lot of these on bottles as you see in the post okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started okay first you're gonna go ahead and type in text I know it's a lot of you all first time here a lot of you all uh, haven't opened your crickets yet <laughs> but you got to open them you got to open them so you can learn all right you're gonna put in hello honey font it's already in and I'm gonna use I guess Mariah's name y'all know Mariah all right, M-A-R-I-A-H. Y'all know who Mariah is. I use her name. And I don't like it too thin. So well, it got up bigger a little bit. Hold on, let me make it bigger for you guys. Like, when we putting this on, like, a mug or a bottle, I like it a little bit thicker. Let me see how it look in bold. I don't like putting thin fonts on, like, things that's going to be washed often because it sometimes don't. I just don't like doing it. All right, just made it bold. Okay. Move this up a little bit. Okay, here it go, bold. Just so you guys can see a little bit better. And make sure whenever y'all doing y'all grids that y'all using those lines on your grids because you want to make sure everything is even. Use those lines. Use those lines. Okay. I got it big enough so I can see. All right. Then you're going to highlight it. I showed you all this the other day. You're going to go to ungroup so you can make sure everything's put together. You want to make sure everything's like you see. Hold on. Like right here. That doesn't look like a complete cursive. You can see the line up there. And the R, you can see the blank in the R. It's not completely cursive because it got humps in it. Y'all see the humps? 
we're gonna fix those humps I already ungrouped it I'm putting it all together just sliding them down little by little and of course you do it how you like this is how I do it how we I taught Mariah to do it if you like the humps leave the humps of course all right I got all the humps out then you're gonna group it all together like that which I'm gonna ungroup it but let me go ahead and show you how to get the characters in real quick you gonna I already have it downloaded to my computer but this is how this is a Windows computer you're gonna go to your Windows you can type in mine is already showing but right here you're typing character map and it'll show up I think it's called Google Store and you just download it from the Google Store now this one may be already on your systems this one you will not be using let me show you why the one with the little dice I call that a dice let me show you why you won't be using this one it comes out really small and it's not helpful if you're like me you like the full screen effect of things I'm about to show you why not to use that one. it's loading up now think yeah there it, uh oh where did it go uh oh hold on all right y'all see how small this is you know how long it'll take to go through this to find what you're looking for and you cannot make these big you can't make it big you can't stretch it down no arrows to stretch it down so you won't use the one with the little dice i call it a dice or hut you won't use that one because it is absolutely too small. It's going to take so long to scroll through to find what you're looking for. Absolutely no, no. So we're going to take that one off. I think that's the one that comes with the computer. If not, I need to take it off because I, I don't want This is the one you're going to use. Character map with little paper file. Let me open that up for you. That's what it looks like. And I know y'all commenting. Oh, let's see why it's loading up. Thank you for watching also. I love to know how on iOS. Yes, ma'am, Miss Tracy. I send it. Miss Jennifer, I send it. Brianna, I'll send it. And Miss Rachel, I send it. What's the name of the second font? It's beautiful. Hello, honey, Miss Nancy. You'll download it from defont.com. If you need to know the instructions of how to download it, just write a message and I'll send you that video. Uh yes, please. I don't know how to get it on my computer. And I'll help you. I want to learn how to do this font on iOS. I'll send you the video, Miss Marie. Let's see. I want to learn, okay? Fonts. Oh, yep. Uh, please send me the video. I sure will. This is my first time watching you. Hey, Miss Georgie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. And yeah, and Mariah, she it's not like she's outside. She went to the store with her dad. So it sounds like they're outside. I'll have her come speak after a while. Let me go ahead and get this over. Okay, this is the character app. You see how big and nice it is? You can see your fonts, you can see your designs, your characters. All right. And like I said, this is the Hello Honey font. You're gonna scroll down until you see the nice little hearts. Yeah, they're home, so just ignore my background. Yeah, I see somebody just subscribed. Thank you. Please subscribe to support Mariah. That's how you can support her. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's R with the letter R custom designs. She has her videos there. R writing it in the chat. Designs with a Z. That's how you can support Mariah. Subscribe to her YouTube. I just put it in the chat. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Now, you see these hearts. Now, Mariah's name ends with an H. So, that's what we're going to use on this video, the H. You're going to go here, right-click, so you can copy it. You want to copy it. Always copy it. Don't save it, but copy it. And you can do it all over here, too. Of course, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is save. You're not saving it. And this is copy. You're going to copy it. You're only copying. You don't save it. So I already say I already copied it. The H, because that's her name. Then you're gonna open up the Cricut Design Space, 
And we're gonna, I gotta ungroup it because I already grouped it together. So let me go back to ungroup. All right, and I'm gonna take this H out and replace it with the say the copy H. You see that? I'm about to delete that out. Backspace. There you go, it disappeared. And I'm about to add it in. Y'all know how to copy, right? Let me paste it. Okay, my paste isn't on there, so let me do Control V. Hold on. The computer running a little slow, is it? Hold on, it's not. My mouse is not on there. Hold on. For some reason, my mouse isn't. Oh, there you go. I just pasted it. That's the H. It's going to show up as a little square. It's weird. But that's the H. Oh, there it go. You see that? Did y'all see it pop up? I hope y'all didn't miss it. I'm going to do it one more time. I Because I, I'm impatient. I got to learn how to get my patience. Sometimes it's a little slow. I'm going to delete it back out. I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to paste it in. There. I did Control V. Because when I did the right click on my mouse, my paste is gone. So y'all, the shortcut for this is Control V. V at the same time. See? Paste. There you go. All right. Now my H is on there. What I'm going to do is make sure my H is how I like it. Mm, yeah, it's it's connected pretty good. Okay. And now I'm going to group everything back together. Everything is grouped together. Y'all see that? I can move them right around. I'm going to make it a little smaller so y'all can see it all together okay and now whenever before you put this on your coffee mug or your bottle or your shirt whatever you're putting it on make sure you weld it i've noticed that i have to weld everything i make now which is cool but you want to make sure you weld everything that's especially cursive so it don't come out broken up It'll come out like broken up, but see, it's welded all together. And a lot of so that's the end of this video. But I hope you all understand how I did everything. It'll be saved on our YouTube channel, saved in a group, so y'all can go back and watch it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and unweld this real quick because a lot of people had a question about their like their A having a black circle in it. I'm gonna show you what happens when that happens. I'm gonna see if I can make it happen. Hold on. Where they let their stuff be so small, it'd be small like this on their computer. Then they highlight it. Let me see, it's not welding. I wanted I wanted to show you. Cause they say they hit weld and then everything goes small. Let me see if I can get it for you. Hold on. Play around with it a minute. Alright, I'm grouping it back together. Let's see. Now make it small. I think a lot of you guys work with your stuff kind of small. Let me see if it'll work. Now, you see that? Now it's together. And I'm about to hit well. Let me see if it'll... No, it didn't work. But anyway, usually when y'all say y'all weld your stuff together that the t stuff turns black, it'll be... Hold on. Let me see if it'll work this time. No, it's not working. Oh, well. But it is a common issue for some of you guys. I don't know. Why it's not working, doing it for me, but oh well, I guess that's a good thing. It's not doing it. Let me. Let me see. Let's keep playing with it real quick. Hold on. Yeah, that's how you do that. Hold on. Let me try something else. Uh, uh, Maya. That's my other daughter name. Did you guys learn anything on this video? All right, yeah, it's not working. Oh, well, it's all good. If I figure out how to make it one whole letter, it'd be black in the inside of the letters. Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's black. How do I make You just stretch it out, stretch it out, open it up a little bit, make your letters a little bit bigger. That's how you get it to not have the black fill in circle. But it's not working for me. Okay, let's read some of these comments. Make sure and before I end it. Great video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that, that's much better. You're welcome, Georgie. Uh, let's see.
Can you show the... Sh yes, I can show the character app image again. Hold on, let me go to it. Oh, that ain't it. That's the page. Mariah, come here. All right, that's the... Uh, I don't know if it looks like this. Let me close it out so you can see exactly what it looks like. Where are Mariah? Oh, let's see. Character map. All right, I think that's what it looks like. Oh, it went by so fast this time. I hope you caught it. No, I'm not on a Mac. I'm on a Windows computer. And I'm going to shut it off one more time and shut it back on because it, it went by so fast. I'm going to do it one more time. I just closed out character app. Let me do it one more time. It went by fast that time. Whoever wanted to see it, here it goes. It's going to open up real fast. There it go. Okay. And you can change your fonts, any any fonts. And one, um, let's see. And you can tell which fonts have the little pretty designs on the bottom. Let me show you how you can find that real quick. I'm going to show you that really quick. Oh, here goes Mariah. Y'all want to say hey to Mariah? Hello. She's here. I'm showing them how to download, um the hearts and stuff that you learn another great video thank you you're so welcome uh here it is opening up i tell them to subscribe to your youtube all right the font is here it comes slowly but surely Does anyone know how to get work on Mac? Sorry, Deanna. Yeah, some the, a lot of people help here, so I'm sure someone will chime in. Never mind. I see you're on the window. Yes, Mel. I have a Cricut Sport Air 2. Me too. I have an Air 2 too. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Miss Bailey. Okay. Yep, I showed it. Okay, what does we want? Yeah. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. And Constance, thank you. So, name app. I have have windows. So name uh, what's the name of the app? It's called Character App. Or Character Map. I'm sorry. Character Map. Hi Raya. She said hey. Yes, it is free. Miss Georgie. Character Map is free. Thank you, Keyshawn, for subscribing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can tell. Let me see if this one. This is the one I downloaded the other day. Wild Youth. And let me see. They don't have any special characters. Unless y'all like those, but no. I'm going to go ahead and show you Hello Honey because I know they have the special characters. It's about to load up for you now. Yeah, when you go into font.com, it'll show you their special characters or features they have. Most of the time. Oh, no, it don't. I guess it just got to go on character map and see them. I thought it showed it here. So let me go to character map real quick. Yeah, it, I, I don't know. Let's, I'm going to just try a different one because character map shows it. Let me. I downloaded Grinch the other day. Let me see if they have any special characters. Did y'all watch that video? I I ground lo downloaded Grinched. Hold on, it's up here. Grinched, where you at? Oh, it's not even. It must don't have any special characters. But okay, I'm gonna just pick one, I guess. I like this font here. I don't know how I found out how little honey has a heart, but I really needed it, so maybe you too. But anyway, uh, I don't know how I found out, but you can find out. Oh, look, there goes some special stuff. I don't know if y'all like that kind of stuff, but that's how you can find out. Let's see, glitter free. That's how you can find out the special characters. You just go to here and scroll through, I guess, you guys. Like, they got some cute little ones. That's cute. 
All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Let me see. This is my last going through the questions. Then y'all know I always go back through when I end the video and answer y'all questions. You typed it under the preview of font, not search for the font. I'm not sure what that is. We need character map. Yes, you do. You're going to have to have character map to put the characters on. That's At least that's the way I know, Miss uh, Aisha. A Aisha. Okay, let's see. On Windows, Google character map, UWP. This is what I found. Oh, this is how I found. Okay, cool. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. She said she found it when she went to uh, Google. She Googled character map, UWP. Thank you for that. It's been so long since I downloaded. I don't remember what I did or how I did it. But I know a lot of people was asking. So thank you, Miss Jennifer. Uh, and that's it. Okay, y'all. And if it's any other videos y'all want to learn how to do something, if I know how to do it, I don't mind getting on here and showing you guys. Um, I get Mariah on here to show you guys because we don't mind. And guess what came in? We got some water slide paper that came in. So we do have some projects to do with that i can't wait to play with it play with it and you know learn how to do it so i could teach you guys okay she said said um... oh cool i said it correct cool all right y'all have a good one if i come up if i, I just go through the post usually read what y'all be writing seeing what y'all need help with i know a lot of things is easier to explain you know on live it's just so much easier to do it on live i can just pull out my computer and go for it so if there's anything y'all need just put it in there i don't mind helping y'all like i said i don't mind that's what we learned today all right good night y'all see y'all later bye bye